A former militiaman just learned his fate after admitting to throwing a pipe bomb into a Bloomington mosque five years ago. Michael McWhorter will serve nearly 16 years in prison. His counterpart in the attack, Joe Morris, is learning his sentence right now. WCCO's Mariel Mose joins us live outside the federal courthouse in downtown St. Paul. Mariel, what can you tell us? Well, Shayla, well, 16 years sounds like a long sentence prison sentence for many. It's actually half of what the minimum recommended sentence is for these crimes. In a rare move, the government here actually asked for a 50% reduction in McCorder's sentence. They said it's because McCorder not only held accountability for his actions, but he was also substantial in helping with assistance in learning more about the White Rabbits, which is the radical militia group he was a part of. Um, he helps the government and FBI. Let's go back to 2017 quickly as a reminder to what happened. On August 5th of that year, Michael McCorder and Joe Morris threw a pipe bomb into the window of an imam's office at Dar al Farouk Mosque in Bloomington. The two men said they were told to go through with this attack at the direction of Emily Harry, formerly Michael Harry. Harry was sentenced last fall to 53 years. Fortunately, no one was physically hurt in this attack, but emotional trauma runs deep for the Muslim members of this mosque. Five victim impact statements were read this morning, including three from imams or Muslim prayer leaders and two others from leaders in the Christian faith and Jewish faith here in Minnesota. All five stood in, sol in solidarity asking the judge to give these militia members clemency. The message we are trying to send is a message that wh whatever Mike, Michael Harry told them was actually, I mean, false. And we as a Muslim community, we, as a, we are a peaceful part of the fabric of this country. And we, are, we contribute and we are here to build strong neighbors. And this is the one that message we stand in for, I mean, standing here before you just to make sure, even though we are we hurt, but we still don't want our values to be hidden. And forgiveness, compassion is part of our values. Yeah, both the government and the defense said uh, in the courtroom this morning that they were just really shocked, something they've never seen before, to see so many victims come forward asking for forgiveness. So really powerful victim impact statements this morning. And as you mentioned, Shayla, we're hearing from the counterpart to McCorder, Joe Morris, right now. He's learning his sentencing as we speak. The judge still hasn't made his decision, but the last I heard when I left the courtroom, the government was uh, uh, the government representative was at the stand telling the judge that Morris too helped with substantial information to the FBI and they're asking for again another 50% reduction in sentencing. Marielle Mose reporting. Thank you so much, Marielle.